Hey everybody, this is Jana with Golden Doodle Dandies, and we are here today doing a CTI artificial trans artificial insemination. And what we are actually doing here is using a microscope with a light on it, and we are holding cocoa and taking video on the above screen. As you can see, it's really light. Um, it looks like crinkled wrapping paper, white wrapping paper, right? And uh, we're just now getting ready to inseminate directly it looks into... Like Yep, well it is. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not wrapping paper. <laughs> well it does when it, so you'll see when we get back out a little bit, it will start to look kind of like wrapping paper. Oh. The texture of the wall kind of looks like it. Oh. It's just like dehydrated almost. That's basically what happens. Now that's just, I'm just putting in air there. What does that pump do? That pump just puts in some air. Oh. Helps me to be able to see. Mm -hmm. So she's actually got a, she's kind of built differently from her from your other girl. Oh uh, yeah. So she has a little bit shorter track, so I'm already at her cervix. This is her cervix right here. Okay. And then I'm just trying to get in a place where I can see her opening. That's the boyfriend next door. <laughs> Romeo. Romeo's not her boyfriend. <laughs> There is a good shot. So take a look at that. You see how this catheter, that piece at the top, um, is going through. So each of those black lines that goes by, those mm -hmm. are um, centimeters. So how far we go into our uterus. And then the double line, which I think I passed, double line right there, uh -huh. is 10 centimeters. So it's about, about as long as your hand that we're in through her cervical opening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Sometimes they can feel whenever you go through their cervix. Some of them won't respond at all. Some of them will. It just depends. Yeah. So. It's a lot different than a person going to a gynecologist. It's not that Do we do an abortion like that? We don't tend to, so we tend to use just um, medicine to do that, like different types of injections. Oh. We don't tend to, I know there's a way to do that, like what you're talking about, but we don't tend to have to do that in dogs, at least. It just looks like you. We can do cultures and things, so we can do like infertility diagnostics Ooh, this way. But no, we don't tend to do the, I can't remember what it's called, it's like a curatage. Like when, when they clean up the uterine lining for like somebody that can't get pregnant. Same kind of procedure. This is very interesting, Dr. Hesser. Yeah, sure. I really appreciate no problem. this. Yeah. yeah. wants to watch. I don't know if you guys can see that. She just turned her head around. And yeah. He's <laughs> like, what is that? It's back there. So Keep her head take straight. Her time, just like a natural breeding wouldn't happen in two seconds. We take our time and let her determine how quickly we can inseminate her. So. Awesome. She's taking some time. All right. Well, I'm going to say that we're going to tune out for now. And uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Very, very good stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye.